Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you something that it's been bugging me for a while because it doesn't work. One of them is work but the other one is not working. But don't do what I did. So I'm going to show you why you should tackle the easiest task before you go for the big one, right? All right, so here's is a mess that I create for myself instead of uh, checking the easiest part of this whole thing. So on your down here, there's two outlet. One is actually called cigarette lighter, and the other one is power outlet. So that one's working, but that one's not working. But as you can see, the way the cable is connected, I thought they were together but they're not they are two separate uh, line of wire one is a cold power outlet and one called cigarette lighter how do I know yeah if you don't know about something refer to your manual because sometimes the vehicle have more than uh, two one fuse box all right let's go take a look at this so most of the major uh, fuse box would be here in the engine bay it's pretty easy, you just take this clip, flip it, and it will open, right? And then under here, there should be a guy of what is what in here. So I was looking for the secret lighter. It's not in here at all. So that's why I told you, refer to your manual to know where the location of all your fuse boxes. And I end up with that... Uh, from the manual, it showed me there's another fuse box down here. Yes. So, on the cover of this fuse box, it will tell you what type of fuse box right there. If you can look on the right right there, there's a 15 n for power outlet. This right here. And then another 15 n for cigarette lighter. And I pulled those two out. And you can see it's the empty slot right there, right under the 7.5, under right there. Those two fuse right there. Well, lo and behold, let me show you. You see the difference between those two fuse? This is a good fuse. This is the one that already broke off. You can see the miss in the top. So, I'm not sure. Let me uh, test it out. See, make sure it works. Normally, the way to test this is have a multimeter. But I'm not at my home base right now. So, I use something else. Yeah, this is what I use. This is a, a splitter. You can go from one to two. And then this one actually convert to a USB-A outlet also. But usually, there's a light coming up if the power is going to it. So these outlet, uh, power outlet or cigarette lighter, usually turn on via your ignition switch. So you have to have a key on. So right now, as you can see, I had the fuse out, so it shouldn't be on, right? Yeah, no power, right? So I'm gonna put the fuse in and see which one is this. Is it a power um, outlet or is it the cigarette lighter? Okay, so I put the good one back into the top one, which is a power outlet. Here you can see. So we're going to test this out. So the bottom one is a cigarette lighter. Woo, come on, focus. All right, let's check this out. Right, remember, I don't know what, which one this one is. So right now I'm kind of testing it. No power, right? So I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna put you on hold. So this longer one is actually on this side, which working normal before the short one is on this side. And here you can see there's a light come on here. So it tell me there's power coming through that. Remember I, when I disconnect, I didn't have uh, power to the back one also. Let's test that out also. Oh yeah, it's on. 
As you can see, there's a light up there too. So that's telling me this is a power outlet uh, fuse. So my cigarette lighter fuse burn out. Okay, since I don't have a spare 15 amp, I'm borrowing, temporarily borrowing the 25 volt from sunroof. I don't have a sunroof, so I don't, I don't, I, that, that, I don't need that, uh, what do you call it, fuse, right? So I'm just temporarily moving it over. And you can see right here. Yeah, always replace the same type of fuse. You can see the white one is 25. Yeah, you should replace with the same, which is 15. So, but for the testing purpose, I'm, I'm gonna temporarily plug it in and then go buy the correct one. All right, let's see if it's gonna work. Remember I told you the short one is the one that never worked before. And actually, it's already came on. Cause I left the key in. Right, short one, and then the long one. Yeah, don't do this with power live like this. So now I have both outlet now, perfect. And you can see how small this, uh, this, this is called micro fuse. It's impossible to pull it out, right? From here, practically impossible. So what you do, you need you're gonna need a needle nose plier and grab it and pull straight out. Well, to put it back in, you don't need the plier, just push it in with your thumb and it'll be good. Alright, so the lesson learned is always attached to the problem the easiest way first, which is check in the fuse and then go from there. But I open it up so I know it's the original wrapping. So like okay. I'm not messing with it. So that's why I go backward into the fuse panel. <laughs> like I said, I tap the easiest pass first before you go breaking up everything like that, what I did there. All right, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video next week. I have very good uh, outing, wandering video coming up next Wednesday. All right, bye for now.